Lecture by CYC Chen Cynthia. You can pause anytime you need. 你可以随时按下暂停键。Hello everyone. Today we are going to do the watercolor. So at the beginning of the class, you need to have your watercolor paper. So you will see the watercolor on the cover. Okay. So whatever what kind of blank you have, you will see the watercolor. Okay, so if you don't have the watercolor paper, mixed media paper is work as well. So you will see the mixed media. Okay, so choose one, either watercolor paper or the mixed media paper. All right, then you need to have a pencils, erasers, and a paper tape. So that is for the beginning of the class. So no worry about the watercolor tools. We will prepare that at the middle of the class. All right. Hello, everyone. Today we gonna do watercolor. All right. So you have to prepare your watercolor paper. Okay. So if you don't have the watercolor tools with you and you don't have the watercolor paper. So you can stay with the dry media paper, the sketchbook. All right. So I'm gonna do it twice for today's topic. So one with dry media. So you can color with pencil crayon if you don't have watercolor. Otherwise, you can follow the right side. I'm gonna do it with the watercolor on the right. Okay. So this one I'm gonna do it with dry media. In case you don't have the watercolor with you, all right. So I'm gonna do the same joints twice, but you only need to do once, okay? So whatever you wanna do with watercolor or the dry media, like pencil crayon, we all start with the pencil line, okay? And the eraser. Make sure you have the eraser next to you so you can fix the joints anytime you want. All right. So first of all, we gonna do a bottle. And the bottle, we will have something special inside, and you have to create the object in the bottle. Okay, so we have to learn the symmetry, so we can do the nice bottle. Okay, so since we are going to do the symmetry, so we have to find the center line of the paper. Okay, find the middle, straight down, very light, because we are going to erase it after. A center line, and make sure it's very easy to be erased after. Okay, not too heavy. Be gentle. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on my watercolor paper. Very light. It's very easy to be erased after. Okay. So again, I want to borrow the fingers. Okay. So three fingers on the top, on top of the line, a dot. So one, two, three, three fingers. Okay, so we got the points. I will do the same thing on my watercolor papers. A dot. Okay, then the same thing. Three fingers at the bottom. A dot. A dot. Okay, so top and the bottom we will have the same dot. Three fingers and three fingers. Good. Okay, so now three fingers. Oh, it's the three fingers. So I place the three fingers next to the left of the center line. Dot. So about three fingers. See, about three fingers. About three fingers. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Three and three. All right. So how many points we have on um, our paper for now? One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. You should have four points on your paper and one center line. Good. Okay. I know you are good because you are smart. Perfect. So now I need just two fingers. We have three fingers at the bottom, right? But now two fingers next to the top. A point. 
on the left, two fingers on the right. Again, I place two fingers next to the center line. That's the center line. The dot on the right, dot. Okay, so now we have six points. Three at the top, and this three point is very close to each other. And the bottom looks a little bit wider. Okay, so I'm gonna do it twice. So don't worry if you miss one here, you can follow one on the right. Okay, so from this point, okay, we have to go a little bit oval from to the left. But I stop at the points right here. And going back to the right and close on the top. Okay, again, from the point, going to the left and going back to the right. Almost touch the point and going back. All right. So remember we are doing semi tree, which means your right and the left just like mirror it. They should look like the same size. Okay, so make sure your right and your left looks like the same. But just flip over. Just like flip over. They should be the same. They should be the same. Okay? So check, check, check. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in so you can see more clear. All right, a little bit closer. Okay, so I'm gonna do another small oval just in the oval that we made. All right, see, I didn't change the size, same thing. The right, left look like the same. Again, so it looks like a hoop, right? It looks like a hoop. So we got the hood. Okay, a ring, a ring, an oval ring. All right, so now from the left, I'm going to do a letter C curve. On the right, doing the same, we are doing the symmetry. So curve, same thing, mirror it. I can erase the dots. We don't need the dots anymore. Okay, C and C. Remember, C and C. Okay, now you have to close it. You have to close it. All right. All right. We're going to do the C one more time, but now this time I'm going to curve in like this. Curve out. From here, go in and go out. Same thing. Check your right and your left. Just like you flip over, they should on the same height and they should be the same size. Okay, curve in, curve out. Curve in, curve out. Just like you flip over, same height, same place, and the same size. All right. Okay, let me make my bottle a little bit higher. So I'm gonna do a small curve, a small curve like the shorter. Now I have to go straight down all the way down to touch the bottom point that I just made. Same thing on the right, a little bit like the shorter. And going down and touch the points that we made. Okay, a shorter, a shorter. Then straight down all the way down to touch the point. Oops, I didn't touch it. Okay, then same thing on the right, going down and down and touch the point. Okay, now we have to close the bottle. We have to do the smile to close the bottom. Let's see. From the left, do the curve. See, I'm not touching the point. And up and close. Make sure you are close it. Same thing, okay? Left. Do the smile and going up and touch the right point. 
Okay, same thing. You have to flip over, flip over. Make sure you are right and you are left. See, my right and the left looks like the same size. Looks like the same size. So I'm gonna pause the video right here um, to everyone doing the symmetry. So make sure you are right and you are left are the same size. Okay, you are not making any one of them smaller than the other side. Okay, now you have to check, check, check. Okay, so remember, all the stuff has the thickness. Even my glass bottle, right? We have to show the thickness. They are not a piece of paper, right? Not, not thin. So we have to do a border around. So what do I mean by border? Let me show you one at a time. So we just use about half finger size, or you can say just one pencil size. Okay, so I use a pencil to see, okay, about this thick. Then turn around and check. I'm using the pencil to check. Hmm, they are the same size. Good, they are the same size. Not thick, not thin. All the way down, keeping in that, that same size. Just one pencil, just like a pencil size, okay? Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the right. About the same size one pencil's width, keep going, straight down, then about one pencil, about one pencil, okay? Then I'm gonna do a curve and touch the point finally, and keep going to close the bottom part. Like the smile, okay? I'm gonna do this one more time on my watercolor papers. A border, a thickness of the glass. Okay, so, about the same, I'm not change the size. Straight down, see? The width, the width, the width, and all the way to the top, they are about one pencil's width, right? They are not going to change, they will be the same. So make sure they are the same on the right as well. Make sure they are the same on the right. Okay, then smile, close the bottom, and touch and close all right so it will look like this all right so make sure you finish that first and we're gonna erase the center line on the top Using the center line, so we erase them. We don't need them anymore. We finish our symmetry of the bottle. Okay, so we have to erase them and make sure they are clean. Nothing extra on your papers. All right, so this is the bottle. I'm gonna have something to stock it. All right, so use the inside one. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in. Okay. So remember we got the ring, the hoo, remember? So from inside one, we raise up, go up, go up, straight up, and we can erase the line in between. Okay, so let me do this one more time right here. Inside the hood, not outside, inside. Straight up, 
straight up. And the same thing, we're gonna erase the line in between. Okay, all right. So what we're gonna do with these two lines, we have to do an oval to close it. So something we can stuck on it. Oval to close it. And we will have the same thing at the bottom a little bit. Right here. See? Like a small cups at the bottom. One more time. From here, a small cup. Going up and touch. It's in between. Not too big, but just in between. All right, so same thing, I'm gonna pause the video right here. I know some of you need more time to fix, so I'm not rushing you, so I'm gonna pause the video right here so we can move on when everyone on the same page. Alright, so now I know we're gonna do something inside, but before that, I want you to grab your tracing marker first. A thick marker, a five point marker, okay, five point. And a ultra five point marker, like the needle, it's very thin, right? So let's compare. One and two, this one is for somewhere big, this one is for somewhere small. All right, if you don't have this, pencil crayon is work, but make sure you have to shop your pencil crayon, make sure they are very sharp and neat so you can trace somewhere very small. All right, so where are we gonna trace with the thick markers? Let's do it one by one. I have to do it twice, okay? So we have to choose the five points marker, the thicker one, to trace the oval on the top and the side the bottoms and the inside part okay and what else right here a letter C but upside down but I didn't trace the line in this part we're gonna use the thin marker to trace all right then I have to trace the outside part of the bottle Slow, slow, okay, don't be rushed. Trace and follow on your pencil line. Okay, so they are the part that we're supposed to use, the thick markers to trace. And the rest of them, I'm gonna use the thin markers. Okay, and the inside part of the glass. Use the thin marker to trace. Slow, slow, because when you make the mistake with the markers, it's very hard to fix, right? Because we have to think something else to cover. All right, and the top here, we have to add some textures. Okay, the texture will be like the cheese. We are gonna use the thin marker like this one to add some circle bubbles circles bubbles around inside the top of the button see sometimes i do the c to do the curve some big some small some big some small i try to add a lot of them because it should be a lot and same thing right here at the bottom
All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my the other one. So focus on yours. Okay, I will do it very quietly with my second one. So now we have to put our markers on the side. We are not using them for now. So when you finish tracing, you know, we're gonna erase the extra pencil line off from our paper to keep our drawing looks clean and neat. Okay, so make sure you erase them properly. So this is the bottle, okay? We're gonna add something in it, but I don't know what, okay? So you have the choice. You can turn your bottle on the side so you can put a boat, a cart, whatever you want. Okay, you can have your bottle like this direction. You also can turn your bottle like this direction. Okay, you can also turn your bottle like this direction. It doesn't matter, okay? Depend what do you want to add, inside the bottle okay you can have a small little people in it you can have a car a boat a snowman or something you like okay so now you're gonna have about five to ten minutes to do something in the bottle with the pencil when you're done with the pencil joint then you can use your thin markers to do the tracing okay don't just do it with the markers because you might make the mistake and you are not able to erase it, okay? So I will do it with the marker so you can see it's more clear, but I will suggest you use the pencil first. It's easier for you to fix. All right, so now the timer is on. You can start to decorate your bottle inside.
All right, no worry, no worry. The timer is still on, okay? So I just want to share mine. So I have one with mushroom castle. It could be the castle if I put a flag on top of my mushroom roof, okay? And one is a magic flower, the rose, like the beauty and the beast, right? I add the rose inside my bottle, but it could be anything, okay? So don't limit yourself. I want you to stay cool. So what is your personal idea? You don't have to copy anything. It doesn't have to be real, okay? Show me your idea. Show me your personality. All right, be brave, be creative. Three, two, one. Okay, so if you haven't done the join or you haven't finished tracing, don't worry. We're gonna have our three minutes water break. During this three minutes water break, I'm not doing anything new. Okay, so if you haven't done your join, keep working on it during the water break. If you finish and you want to go to the washroom or drinking some water, feel free to go. You don't have to tell me so. All right? All right, now is our water break. During the water break, you can complete your work drinking some water, use washroom, stretch your body, and get ready for the next section. All right? And don't forget to call me back when the timer is done. Use your break time wisely, okay? Don't waste the time just sitting right here. Our water break is almost over. Make sure you got everything ready for the next sections. Almost the class, get ready for the next part. Three, two, one.
Before we start to color our watercolor, let's see our tools. You need to have the watercolor brush, like huge, big, medium, and small. And make sure the watercolor brush is very soft, okay? If you choose the watercolor brush like the grass, the brush like the grass, it is not the watercolor brush. It's just the painting brush for oil painting and the acrylic. So make sure your watercolor brush is soft. So that's for the watercolor, okay? With different sizes. All right, then we need to have the napkin or the towel to dry our water brush because we are going to use a cool water to mix the color and wash the brushes. All right, so make sure the water is no temperatures, has to be very, very cool. All right, then you need to have your water color. So you can have your water color like this trayer. So sometimes it looks big, sometimes it looks small, or you will see your watercolor pen like the tube, like this. All right, so whatever it looks like a trayer or like the tube, it's okay. And you need to have a trayer for what? To mixing the color on top of the trayer. All right, so that's it. Do you get every single thing on the screens? If you do, make sure they are all on the set. Then we can begin to color. All right, so remember on the right, I'm gonna do the watercolor. On the left, I will do it with the dry medium pencil crayon. Okay, so we all know how to do with the pencil crayon, right? We have to do it, you can use any colors. Then do it dark. Color a little bit heavier and reduce the pressures, medium and light. So that's the color volume. All right, so try to do your best. You can do it nice, all right? So like this, dark, medium, and light. That's the color volume. You can use any colors you want to color the stuff inside. So now everyone, I want you to focus on the object inside. So don't do the bottle, okay? Don't do the bottle. Focus on the graphics inside the bottle. All right, I will going to teach you how to do the glass parts after we finish all the color for inside object. All right, so now you know how to do it with the pencil crayon. For who has no watercolor, you can start to do your pencil crayon's colors. All right, so now about the watercolors in place on the side. The watercolors mean we need to have the color and water. So make sure you have the water and we do have the brushes. So brush has different size, right? This one is so big. Do I use the big brush to color the rose? No, it's too big. I'm going to color outside of the shape a lot with the big brush. So I have to find the smaller one to do the coloring for my rose. Okay, so let's see, how do I do it with the watercolor? All right, so now you have to, my brush is dry, it's dry, so I have to use the water to wash my brush to make sure my brush is wet. Okay, now it's wet with the water. Then you can choose any colors, but you are not just grab the color and paint on the paper. That will be too rich. So I apply the colors at where? On the trayer with the water. See, it's liquid. It's very juicy, right? So make sure your watercolor is watery. Okay? Nothing feel sticky. You must make sure it looks like the liquid, like the water with the colors. Okay? So when it's ready, I want you to try to color inside the object very soft, very neat. Keep the color stay inside. But you see, I have too much color, too much water on my paddle. It looks so watery. How can I do? Do I use the napkin to do? No. Grab your brush and you will towel or the napkin. Okay, so dry your brush. 
with the towel. Then remove the color off from the paper. See, I just have a little bit. Then I dry my brush and has a little bit. See now, the extra water is gone, right? So never use the towel or the napkin to tap on the paper. That will ruin your joint, okay? Always dry your brush and remove the color up, all right? So I want you to try to color one by one at a time, even they are the same color, okay? So I have to color one by one at a time. Don't be rushed, don't be greedy, one at a time. Remember, too much water, dry your brush, release the extra water from the paper with the brush. All right, so now same thing. I want you to focus on the color with your object, okay? Nothing on the glass, all right? So now you can begin. So same thing for who is doing the pencil crayon join. I have two pictures to do. So I have to finish my watercolor very quick. Then I will move on to do my pencil coloring, okay? Then when I finish, we will start to do the glass bottle all together. So everyone remember, only focus on the object inside the bottle. Inside the bottle only. All right, so now you can begin. if you haven't done the coloring all right so see i finished my pencil crayons and the watercolor all right so the top one the the lip for the bottle you can use any color but you have to choose two color one color on the top one color for the side okay so what do i mean by that again i use the watercolor to do it first all right so remember i have to mix the water with the color all right so I'm gonna make the top brighter, light. 
and I have to choose a slightly darker color. See, let's see the difference. So the side will look a slightly darker than the top, right? Okay, let me go a little bit darker so you can see it even more clear. So the top will be brighter, the side will look darker. So don't color on the glass, not the glass. Okay, at the bottom here. You can use any color, but just make sure you have two different colors. Top and the bottom, the side. Alright, so but for the pencil crayon, we're gonna do the same thing. But you have to choose only one color. I use the brown, all right? I color the top a little bit light so I didn't brush the pencil too hard, okay? But when I color the side, I will color it a little bit harder, just a little bit harder. To make the color looks like they are two different colors. Even I'm using the same pencil crayon, but the color will look different. All right, let's see. Mmm, the top is light, the side looks more rich and more dark. But, let's see. Remember we add in lots of circle bubbles on it? Remember that? Alright, so now use the same color and let me zoom in so you can see it more clear. Alright, so remember the, the bubble that we made? We have to color a little bit darker and more rich for each circle. See? I color it in, looks a little bit darker. Don't forget the top. I just make them look a little bit darker. Because they are the hole. They are something deep. So we have to color them a little bit heavier to make them look like it's gold in, not pops out. Same on the bottoms. We don't have to make them look too clear. All right, just the bubble, the circle, we have to color it a little bit harder. Okay, that's the pencil crayon part. How about the watercolors? All right, when you do the watercolor, you have to wait it's totally dry. But you see, do you see the flexion? Looks shiny. Which means my watercolor is not totally dry yet. But see the bottom part, it's not shiny so which means the bottom part is ready it's dry so i'm gonna use the same color i'm not using different color the same color i color it twice see i color inside the circle i color inside the circle but you have to make sure the bottom part is totally dry see it's still wet on my paper so i'm gonna dry it a little bit more quick all right so on the top same thing i use the same color to color inside to make the bubble the circle look slightly darker all right so let's see the side here gentle slowly just color inside the bubble Whatever is big or small. You can change to the tiny brushes if the bubble is too small to color. Alright? Okay, so now I'm gonna pause the time right here. Then we will move on to do the coloring for the glass. And that will be our last part for the joint. Alright, so the last part for the glass, I'm gonna use the pencil crayon to do first. I want you to find the blue color you like. Okay, so let me put my watercolors away so we can focus on my... Okay, so grab your blue colors. We start from the top all together. So we color the blue line right here. Not too thick, just around and the bottom. So we leave the whites at the middle. Okay, then we're gonna same, do the same thing around on the right as well. See, I leave in some white space 
I just color around. Then the bottom. Okay, then inside here. I'm gonna color, see, I overlap on my brown color. A little bit thicker, see, I only color a line, but now when I color inside, I color it a little bit thicker. Dark, medium, light. So that's the reason we keep practice the color volume. See, I overlap on my mushroom because the mushroom is inside the glass. So we will see some glass color on our object. Okay, and the bottom, see, it's overlap. But not everywhere okay i stop here it's about a fingers it's about a fingers okay not too thick but not too thin just about a fingers dark medium light dark medium light overlap dark medium light dark medium. that's it okay that's the glass for the pencil crayon then you can sign a name and write down the date and wait that's just the pencil crayon all right so for who is doing the pencil crayon when you finish the object when you finish the lip now you can focus on the blue glasses okay then let's move back to do our water colors all right so we're gonna use the same color, the blue, okay? And we're gonna color on the same place. Same thing, water with the color is liquid and juicy, all right? Okay, so same thing. Remember, we're gonna color the top and the bottom with a line. Top and the bottom. And we leave the white space in between. Okay, then trace on the side, trace on the side, trace on the right, exactly the same place that we did for the pencil crayon, then the buttons, all right, so now, same thing here. Inside, it will be on my rows a little bit. Okay, same thing right here. It will be on my rows a little bit. Then, then we're done. All right. So the same thing. When you finish, find a spot. To sign the name and write down the date and that's everything okay it's very fun if you have the watercolor so feel free when you got the watercolor then you can try this version okay and so crayon is good but watercolor is fun all right when you complete your join sign the name and write down the date. 完成画作之后, Bye bye, see you next time.